Ian, Fathom Nickel, this morning we were talking about how you have two primary projects that are over what, approximately 110,000 hectares in Saskatchewan, is that correct? Uh, that's correct, yes. Uh, one of them is uh, north of 90,000 hectares and the other is uh, a little bit more than 22,000 hectares. I would argue what sets you apart from many companies out there is you have experience taking companies from exploration to production. Obviously, you've put an amazing management team together already. You just finished and put out some drilling results. Where do you want to start in this interview? Well, maybe just, um, you know, as you said, we, we, we did put some news out last week indicating that we had completed our drill program at the Gochagger Lake project. Uh, we didn't have any assays in that uh, news release, but we did release some photographs of the mineralization that we are encountering. And, and you know, I guess the, the takeaway from that news release is we've encountered mineralization uh, 100 meters below the boundaries of the historic deposit. We are recognizing magmatic nickel sulfide textures, which are common in other nickel magmatic operations around the world. So that is very, very encouraging. And the borehole electromagnetic tool that we've been utilizing, so this is a geophysical instrument that goes in the borehole upon completion of the drill hole, and it's been termed the giant metal detector. What it does is it looks for zones of conductivity away from the drill hole. And we know now that these zones of conductivity do have nickel mineralization associated with them. So the stronger the conductivity, the stronger the nickel mineralization. So we've successfully followed up on some of these borehole EM targets, and we have multiple more based on this most recent uh, round of drilling. There is conductivity, excuse me, conductivity building up below where we've stopped several of our drill holes. So this is this is all very, very encouraging. And we plan to uh, continue to test all these things in the new year. I did hear uh, one of your audience members in the most recent investor talk, he was asking when we should anticipate the next round of drilling results. Yes, yeah, so this, this program that we just wrapped up, um, we have been telling people that we'll have assays in hand by the end of October and be looking to release the results, uh, you know, once we digest everything and, and get it out to the public, hopefully very early in November. So you finished up with Gochagaver Go uh, project here for the fall. Is that correct for the drilling? That's correct. Yeah. So we're, we're, we've, um, there, there'll be no additional exploration at either one of the projects through uh, the remainder of 2023. Fathom Nickel is a member of the Critical Minerals Institute. And of course, in addition to the copper and nickel in both of the projects, you have PGMs. Can you talk to us a little bit more about your platinum group of metals and any surprising updates you can share with our audience? Well, yeah, thank you, Tracy. I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, platinum group elements, um, they, they tend to be a, a bit forgotten, perhaps, and, and they are indeed critical and absolutely fantastic uh, what you can do with platinum group elements. And so I think, um, you know, hydrogen fuel cells, that's something that's going to be revisited. And, um, you know, we're not getting rid of oil for a period of time yet, so you need the catalytic converters. So there's a tremendous market for platinum group elements. And and both projects, if I can start with the Go Chagger Lake project, um, our drill hole that we, well, both drill holes that we drilled in February encountered platinum, palladium, plus gold uh, mineralization that I was not expecting. Uh, we had one intercept in our drill hole, GL23003, where we had 28 grams, 28 grams platinum, palladium, plus gold over an intersection of 0.7 meters. And that is very high grade, obviously. But what I think is very, very important about that 
if you're concentrating platinum group elements at that magnitude, you are drawing from a very, very large magmatic source. So that what has me excited there is, you know, hopefully with this second round of drilling, we were drilling again in that area, we'll have a few more intercepts of, of these PGEs, which will allow us to start putting it together and try and figure out what it's doing there. Uh, but nonetheless, it, it is telling me that this is a big system. Um, you need to be drawing from a large magma. The, you know, the PGEs are already inherently in there and to get them out, processes have to happen. But again, just to concentrate it in that magnitude, it, it's a very, very big source. The Albert Lake project, historically 9.63 grams per ton platinum palladium plus gold came out of the ground in a small operation 1965 through 1969. And again, just the 9.63 grams speaks to the volume, speaks to what I like to think is a, a sort of a regional outlook to both projects. So you, to get PGEs at that level, again, big magmatic systems, big potential nickel caps at both projects, nickel plus PGEs. <laughs> Just want to ask you one more question. Can you talk to me about your proximity to uh, large majors and or infrastructure? I mean, I think a lot of, for instance, American audience members are, are increasingly understanding how valuable Saskatchewan is and projects in Saskatchewan. Would you like to add any comments on that matter? Yeah, first of all, with, with respect to the province of Saskatchewan, uh, consistently ranked in the top five jurisdictions in the world by the Fraser Institute for Exploration. And, and you know, we have very, very good rapport with First Nations in Northern Saskatchewan. We meet quarterly with uh, the Lac La Ronge Indian Band, constantly in communications with, uh, with stakeholders. Uh, so that, that's, uh, that's, that's a very positive. Uh, Saskatchewan, you know, with respect to infrastructure, it goes without saying, the Athabasca Basin and the amount of uh, you know very very high grade uranium that comes out of the Athabasca Basin, so Saskatchewan knows how to mine, and Saskatchewan is very pro development. So that that is very very positive. But at the same time, you need to do it respectfully, and you need to do it uh, uh, safely, which uh, we feel that we we check both of those boxes. Uh, infrastructure, both our projects at the moment, uh, you know, they, they both have history. So there are historic trails that you can, uh, you know, still see from the air as we are flying into both projects. Uh, Gochagar Lake is 20 kilometers from uh, Highway 102, which goes up to the Athabasca Basin. And the Albert Lake project, we're within 60 kilometers of this main uh, thoroughfare. But again, there are numerous exploration trails that we can get closer to the closer to the project. But currently both projects are flying, um, but we are looking at ways where we can uh, decrease our dependency on helicopter, which uh, ultimately will have a, a positive impact on our all in cost per meter of drilling. Fathom Nickel, for more information, please go to their website, and Ian, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much, Tracy. Look forward to the, the next time.